Well, welcome back to From Love of the Mouse and welcome to Montenegro. Look behind me. Look how beautiful this is. Let's just check it out. Well, first off, shout out me for that awesome lighting on that intro video. But if you haven't done so already, click that like button, click that subscribe button, and that bell icon so you're notified whenever we release new videos. And if you haven't done so already, follow us on Instagram. My wife, she does an amazing job. Make sure you check us out. Anyway, Montenegro, here we go. It was an amazing day. We had not researched Montenegro at all, to be honest. And this probably turned into, besides Corfu and swimming and like in the last vlog, this was probably one of the most fun days we had. Crystal and our, some of our friends went hiking up a staircase that we found. And then I went exploring the town of Qatar where we were that was just beautiful. I mean, this is such an awesome day. I mean, right here, just look at the beauty off of our balcony. Like, it was just so awesome, this, this the view. I mean, I can't get over the view that we saw this entire cruise. And today was no exception. It was just phenomenal. All right, let's run up to the buffet, get a quick breakfast, and then we're going to jump on our tender and start our day in Qatar at Montenegro. So I just ran upstairs to the buffet real quick since we're just one floor down, and I grabbed uh, egg white omelet. I got a bagel I'm going to split with Crystal, some Nutella, potatoes, and then I got us a bowl of fruit. She's eating the bowl of fruit right now, and I'm going to finish whatever she doesn't eat. So yeah, just a quick little no breakfast we've only ate breakfast it's only the third time i've had breakfast on this whole cruise so probably shows in the vlogs we've just been going 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 and then we come back shower relax for a little bit have dinner maybe go have a few drinks go to bed do it all over again this european mediterranean cruise that's been what this has been about it's just been seeing everything we possibly can enjoying our friends do it all over again the next day and it's been perfect We have entered into the city square of Couture. I read this morning that Couture is the best preserved medieval, ancient medieval town in the world. And just coming in here, I would agree. Just sailing in this morning, I would agree. But right now, we're gonna go find a restroom and then some are going to go climb 1300 stairs into a mountain and some are going to enjoy town. I'm going to enjoy town. Well, we found the bell tower This is such an awesome awesome little town So much history. We've decided this is Genovia from Princess Diaries It's just so pretty Well, here they go. They're off on their journey. This is where we are departing. This isn't the exact start, but this is where we are departing. Good luck, everyone. Okay, so Crystal went on her way. I sent her with the GoPro to do these stairs. And I think I should take a moment to kind of explain what these stairs are. This is 1,350 stone steps, which are going to lead to St. John's Fortress, or as the locals call it, it's just the Couture Fortress which was built in the year 532. So that right there tells you like how old this all is. So it's quite the journey. They're going to take you along with it. I'm going to take you along inside the town of Couture. So we'll be going back and forth. So anyway, let's continue our journey in Montenegro. So we happened to uh, walk by this store and I pulled a crystal and went shopping. Got a bunch of Christmas ornaments. You know, we need two Christmas ornaments and they had a big old Santa here. Let me walk over here and I'll show you. So they have all kinds of hand carved stuff. So they have these hand carved Santas. It's a wood that's from Northern Couture. And then I don't, we got that Santa right there, but the paddle is kind of the one we got. But he's holding a Christmas tree and then 
I bought, uh, there's a, oh, and I'm, they don't have the ornaments in here that I got, but I just got, oh yeah, they do. I got that little snowman right there, but he's obviously on an ornament. He looks more like that snowman right there. And a little Christmas tree, like this big Christmas tree right here, but as big as that snowman. So that's what we got. Okay, well we found ice cream, and I've been complaining I haven't gotten enough ice cream. So I've only gotten the one gelato at Barcelona, and that was it. And I didn't even film that. So, we're getting some. There is my cookies, cookies and cream. And blueberry is what I got. It looks phenomenal. I'm gonna go eat it before it melts. Okay, so while we're busy shopping and eating ice cream, let's go back to the people who are actually looking at the countryside and enjoying what Couture has to offer in all of its beauty. Miley, what is it called? It's the climb. have summited the Everest of Montenegro. <laughs> Just about to get down below the death zone. <laughs> yep. We survived the death zone and now and now we are about to start our descent. Really was now it doesn't seem that bad now that we're at the top. I like you're up here. I yeah. Now yeah, they're up now. here. I just hope the supplies at death uh, base camp have been uh, replenished. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hope there's and turning out so well. <laughs> and they've got all the all the snacks ready for us. All the snacks and and spritzes are ready for us upon the descent. <laughs> Okay, we've made it to the edge of one side of town here. Well, first off, look at those flowers. Beautiful. And then there it is. The stairs they're walking, you can't see them from here, but they're in the mountain. So they're making their way up that mountain. I don't think it goes to the top. All I know is it's 1,300 steps of windy stairs. Look how cool this is though. These are beautiful. We got Taylor taking pictures. All these cool old buildings. Man, there's cats everywhere. Like, I mean, there's two cats right there. Like, literally, cats everywhere you look. So, if you're a cat person, come to Montenegro, especially Kator. Oh, there's one right there. There's the kitty. Okay, so I have we've discovered why there's so many cats over here. They all have their little homes right over here. And there's donation boxes on all the little businesses that say to donate to the homeless cats of Couture. And over there, you see that gentleman, there is a machine where you can buy their cat food to feed them. So I have a feeling these cats are well fed. I think so. Very well fed, especially during tourist season. Okay, if you look closely there, that is the stairs that they are doing right now. We have confirmed they've been to the top by Instagram stories, and they are on their way down. So it took them just over an hour to get to the top. But you can see it zigzags and it's quite steep. And one of our friends that already came down, they only went halfway, said that there is parts where there's no stairs, it's still steep, and it's just dirt and rock. So, wear good shoes. We survived, we made it back down. None of us died. My knees are still attached to my body. And, that was fun. I'm glad we did that. It was pretty up there. Whew. 
Now we have to find everybody. So we're going on a scavenger hunt. So we stopped at a little pizzeria cafe here in Montenegro. And I got the Montenegro pizza, which is prosciutto, mozzarella, mushrooms. Looks like everybody gets a couple olives on each pizza. And some peppers. It looks great. So after lunch, we uh, we had to get gelato for all the all the step climbers. It's the climb. Everybody that did the Montenegro stair climber today. So we're getting more gelato. So how is your gelato? That's good. Yeah, is it as good as Barcelona? Oh, what did you yeah. get? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got sorbet in Barcelona. That's true. So we have a little bit of an early Bryson on the couch day today. It uh, doesn't mean the day's over, just that Crystal is on the balcony sleeping. And that's where I was going to do this, but she's sleeping so I don't want to wake her. Ah, we are back. I am showered, feel completely refreshed. It's great. That is one thing on this Mediterranean cruise. It has been hot every day, hot and humid, like well over 100 degrees. So it's been nice to get the long excursions out the beginning where we were going like eight in the morning to six at night got those done and the last few have just been like nice like yesterday we went swimming today we just went exploring obviously crystal climbed the stairs she said she has never sweat that much in her life but she loved it and now we're just chilling and like i said she is she doesn't take naps and she's out there on the balcony if it wasn't for the thought that it could possibly, possibly cause problems in my marriage. I would show you her sleeping on the balcony right now. But I won't do that. I will not. Anyway, refreshed. We are waiting for some laundry we had done. Uh, Norwegian does a thing here where they give laundry bags. And for $29, you can stuff the laundry bag with as much as you can. And they will wash your laundry. I think we have like... 12, 14 items getting washed. And if you've ever done laundry, not self done laundry on a ship before, that can get pricey. So for how much laundry we're getting done for $30, it's a pretty good deal we thought. So it's a little less laundry we have to take to do when we get home. And I'm almost out of shirts. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I, I sweat way more than I thought I would and went through way more shirts than I thought, t-shirts than I thought I would. So Anyway, something to tell you guys about Qatar that I did not mention when we went to the restaurant. There was about 12 of us. We wanted to split checks. Um, Qatar, Montenegro in general, does not split checks. Um, it's not in their custom to do that. It is actually a rule by law. Um, I looked it up because we were trying to figure out what was going on. So we ordered our drinks and the server brought us a book and said it was our bill book. And he brought us a bill. Well, in America, you pay your bill when they bring the bill. So that's what we kind of thought was going on, and we hadn't even ordered our food. So then we said, well, can we order food? And he said, yes, yes, I'll be back. So he came back, we ordered food, he brought us another bill for just our food. So I was trying to figure out, well, in, in the mean, between all that, I was trying to figure out what was going on, I looked it up, it took me to the City of Qatar's webpage, and there's a law in this country that if a server performs a duty, like taking your drink order and brings you your drinks, they are to immediately issue the bill. So that is why after every order he took, he immediately brought us the bill. Like our friend Tyler ordered a second beer. So they brought me a bill that had, because I was the keeper of the bill book. They brought a bill for four euros, almost five euros, I think. 480 euros, that's what it was. And so, I mean, everything. So if I would have ordered another Diet Coke, I would have got a bill for a Diet Coke. So just be aware of that. There was a little bit of like, that was honestly the first like cultural snag we have hit on this trip. And it wasn't that big of a deal. We were just trying to understand why we had all these bills. And we figured it out, no big deal. The server was very nice, took care of us. We had great pizza, as I said, and it was a good time. It was a nice place. Oddly named Scorpio. Not sure why, but very good pizza. So if you're in Qatar, go to Scorpio and get the pizza. So anyway, I'm gonna see how long my wife is uh, out there sleeping. And we have dinner at Cagney's tonight at 6.30. That's the steakhouse. So I don't, it depends on what Sleeping Beauty is out there on what we're going to do the rest of the day. 
Well, after she woke up, we had enough time to get dressed, go down to Malting's Bar, have a few drinks with our friends before we went to dinner at Cagney's, which is right here, and the aft of the ship on the Norwegian Epic. If you notice, Moderno is on the left side, Cagney is on the right side. Cagney's and Moderno share the space, however, they are two separate restaurants. This is, again, a specialty dining restaurant where we used one of our specialty dining credits. So you sat down, you're greeted with your bread, your whipped butter, which you see right here, delicious as always. And then we both got the Oysters Rockefeller. They were delicious, they came with a Mornay sauce. They, I, they were great, I just, I love Oysters Rockefeller every time I get them. After that, it was time for the main course. And I went with the Australian lamb chops, as you see right here. It was a 12 ounce portion, came with a risotto, and it was paired with a mint jelly and a red wine sauce. Now Crystal went with the jumbo shrimp skewers, as you can see here. Six big shrimp right there, char grilled, and served on a bed of asparagus, which came with hand-drawn butter. And for sides, we went with the french fries, grilled zucchini, Yukon gold mashed potatoes. Those were awesome right there. And then Crystal's came with some sauteed mushrooms. That was also part of her shrimp skewers. Now we shared dessert, so we went with the seven layer chocolate cake. We were told we just had to do this and it did not disappoint. A chocolate lover's dream. And we had the Starbucks package, so we also got shots of espresso. Another great meal at a specialty dining restaurant. All right, so here we are on the couch for an actual end of night with Bryson on the couch. Uh, tonight, so I think where I left you off was still me on the couch talking about our time in Couture. Still awesome. We relaxed, went down, had a couple drinks with our friends before dinner. Uh, Crystal and I went to Cagney's as you saw. It was a great time. Uh, tomorrow is a very early day because we get into our last port, which is split Croatia. I think at like 6 a.m. So we can get off the ship at like 6.30. So we're getting up at 6 because we're trying to go to the castle basically that King's Landing is based off of in Game of Thrones. Huge Game of Thrones fan, so I want to go do that. Crystal's a big fan of castles, so she's going to do that. That's pretty much it, guys. Like, I hate to say it, but, you know, I talked about it in other videos. There's not a whole lot of, like, games or anything to play. Like, they did bingo tonight, and we didn't even know they were doing bingo tonight. We couldn't have played because we were at dinner. But they give you this freestyle. Hold on. I'll find it. So they give you this freestyle magazine or newsletter or pamphlet, whatever you want to call it. Disney fans, it's basically the old paper navigate, navigators. Well, <laughs> it's kind of our fault. Well, it's someone's fault, not mine. But Crystal dropped this last night when she was trying to clean up some water. And it fell in the water, got all wet. So that's probably why we didn't know about bingo. Because it would be in here. But it has everything. Like right here. has all the times everything's open for. I mean, there is things going on throughout the day, but... This is such a port heavy itinerary that I don't think they're doing as much as they normally do because there's like two trivias a day. There's one in the morning, there's one in the evening. So there could just be more like that's, but that's just us. That's what we're used to. We love trivia, we love bingo, we love things like that. They did the deal or no deal game, which they did in the atrium and it was packed. And the atrium as I've showed you, it's a little different. Like you can't even see the screen unless you're in the first two rows. So it's just, it's odd. There's some odd things that are about this ship and this itinerary, just because like I said, it's a port heavy itinerary. They want you to ensure excursions, which we've done obviously. And I have no issue with that. I loved it. That's why we came on this trip was to not be on the ship, was to go see Europe, see all these beautiful places, all this history. And that's what we've done. And that's why we've had such an awesome time so far. And I can't wait to finish it tomorrow with my wife and one last stop in split Croatia. So that's where we're going, and we're going to bed, because we got to get up early. So anyway, if you haven't done so already, click that like button, click that subscribe button, and ring that bell icon so you're notified whenever we release new videos. But most importantly, thank you all so much for stopping by, and for the love of the mouse, never forget that it all started with a mouse. We only need the